today's video is about a RV park that's in Lynchburg, Tennessee. Almost said Virginia. Lynchburg, Tennessee. Now, we came over here to see the Jack Daniels Distillery. Now, if you haven't been to the Jack Daniels Distillery, something very cool to see. It's, uh, it's a really small town over here in Lynchburg. Population's around 6,000, I believe. And this distillery's been here since, well, since Jack Daniels started it. It's at the same site using the same spring water coming out of a cave. Yeah, I did a whole separate video on that. Check it out if you're interested. Now, this place to stay is a very cool little city park that's got an RV park built in it right off the square. So the buildings you see behind me, that building with the tower, the clock tower, that is the courthouse. You can go there, you pay 20 bucks for a, per night that you stay. And that white building right there has got the address. If you don't want to stop and see them and pay, you can just mail your payment in. Just honor system, you stay, you mail your payment in. That white building also has a dump station. So you have water and electric on site, and then you have a dump station there next to that white building. You just back in next and dump right there. Now, let me show you the area itself. So what you've got, this whole area I'm looking down at, this is all RV, all the way down there to where the tree line turns back in. Now you cannot tent, uh, it says you cannot do tent camping here. And all these sites all along the river, all the way to that telephone pole, these are all sites, but uh, these are 15 amp. So you have to have your adapter if you're running a 30 amp plug-in. These ones here in the center, this island that we're at, these are all 30 and 50s. They alternate. Uh, they all have 50, I believe, and then every other one's got 30. So there is five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there's five different ones. And every, every other one has a 30. So you might want to bring a 50 to 30 adapter if you're running a a 30 because if you have a couple people here taking the 30s like our neighbor they end up having to run to walmart and get an adapter so they could plug in their 30. now over here if you've got kids right where that car is going you see there's a basketball court there's a tennis court behind that and there's a pavilion behind that and there's some more fields back behind that uh and a playground right behind that pavilion now more of a modern playground with like a plastic slide and all now if you remember you know if you're as old as me or older when you were little you used to Play in the playgrounds that look like this one over here which is kind of cool we went over there and got on the swing they've got an old school metal slide the ones that would just burn your legs and uh, or tear your skin off because it was so you know uh, dry and hot um, the old school metal slide is over there and then the old bars to, to crawl through so a little more dangerous old school style playground but you got that old playground over there you've got all this other stuff over here you got plenty of spots to hook up and like I said, this is right off the square. That's the courthouse, that's the main square. You can walk around the square. It looks like if you were to go back in time, you'd, you would be looking at the exact same thing. You can put dirt all over the pavement over there, put horses over there, and you would think you're back in the 1800s. It's, 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 it's got such an old, traditional, old downtown square feel. And everything closes early. Um, there's an old hardware shop that's now the souvenir shop for Jack Daniels, but that was actually the old hardware store back in the Prohibition. The old, the same floors and the same setup. It's, it's, it's very cool. Another thing about the tour, if you're coming here for the tour, you can just walk up to that white building over there, wrap around the corner and there's a cut through trail that is, you know, it's all paved nice trail right over to the distillery tour. So it's about a probably eight minute walk uh, to the, to the tour and if you you know have a motorcycle or car that you unhook and you want to go drive around you have to go around that and it's about a three minute two to three minute drive in your car so anyway that is uh that sort of review if you're coming to lynchburg the city park area i believe it's called the wiseman uh, i know it's on wiseman park road so i believe this is the wiseman park w-i-s-e-m-a-n wiseman park and there's a little creek behind it. If you are into fishing, we did notice there's a little bridge about 100 yards up, uh, pavilion bridge, and you can see some what look like some bass swimming around down there. All right, thanks for watching, and uh, hang out. Check out our next video. So a little bonus footage here. Here is the playground. You can come over here, knock out some pull-ups for yourself, and uh, let the kids hit the playground. This is, like I said, on the other side of the basketball court. Another little small playground right there.